there's a Too Legends to Try video actually out at the moment talking about um, Shane Gillis saving Bud Light because he's now the face of it, which is pretty cool. We're going to react to that in a minute. Um, but the actual announcement clip video or whatever of it is actually really funny as well because it's also in partnership with Bud Light here at the top. I love that little bit at the bottom there, right? In partnership, like an official fucking partnership with him. So big up him for getting the money. But this whole idea that this one man is saving a big corporation like fucking Bud Light is a bit insulting to our intelligence, isn't it? Um, I think that Dylan Mulvaney thing was um, they kind of used that Dylan Mulvaney guy or person. Sorry, I think it's I think the pronouns are she. They basically used that person um, to kind of get under the fucking skins of fucking you know conservative people, and essentially um they be, like they kind of used the dinner with Bailey. they wasn't they, they didn't really give a fuck about trans people lgbtq people at all and unfortunately dylan Bailey kind of bore the brunt of it by getting absolutely attacked online and having people because i always thought it was very passive aggressive all that stuff online you remember those guys like literally taking out like ar-15s and spraying entire crates of bud light with bullets it almost felt like they were trying to send a message like they went to kill all trans people. <laughs> like Bud Light, like are a bullshit company, bro. Like they actually did some real bullshit there. Like they put Dino Mulvaney up on the can, didn't offer any protection, any explanation, let all these crazy conservatives spray bullets and shit, like literally declaring war on trans people, right? <laughs> And then when obviously it wasn't beneficial for them, they just kind of dumped Dylan Mulvaney, you know, under, throw him under the bus like trash and then now replace him with fucking Shane Gillis or replace them with Shane Gillis. But in general, um, it's all marketing. Nothing really happened to their stocks or whatever. I don't believe all that nonsense. It's all bullshit. Um, it's all just a marketing ploy, which has worked really well, to be honest, for them because it keeps them in the news because I'm not too sure about you. Um, I've had Bud Light. It's fucking horrendous. I don't even, I'm not even a big beer drinker, but I know Bud Light is fucking terrible. So the fact that Bud Light has commanded this much of people's attention and is in the press this much is fucking insane. But it's also proof that good marketing is, you know, it's good marketing. So I think for Shane Gillis himself, because he's an actual legit fan of Bud Light, he actually drinks it unironically. Like he actually enjoys Bud Light. So he actually downs them and loves them as a beverage he's always spoken about them very highly and shit so it must be great for him to get this fucking cosign so big up him for that but in terms of it being a savior of fucking bud light like come on it's not the case mate like it's all a big market employee um they basically used on dylan Mulvaney to get you know loads of um, free engagement online used dylan Mulvaney as fucking trans rage bait it worked amazingly well but they also put that person in, in harm's way because they had all these fucking crazy crazy delusional you know nut cases of conservative people you know get out guns and basically threatened to basically shoot trans people off the back of it but now they're here they are running with shane so congrats to shane anyway you know he he deserves this it's great to see but um it's a bit you know it's a bit dumb to suggest that this is this one guy is going to suddenly save a company i didn't need saving in the first place i don't believe the hype it's all fucking bullshit in my personal opinion anyway but let's check out the video regardless courtesy of Tony to try where he speaks about shane gillis re-sign or oh, signing on as an ambassador uh, with fucking bud light um we're not too sure what the deal is actually um it hasn't really been spoken about whether or not it's going to be him on a can whether we're going to get some promo material bits and stuff out of the back of it i don't really know what the deal is whether it's going to be a special flavor is he going to fucking uh i don't know what he's going to do but um he's partnered up with them he went to their factories and shit and obviously he's loving it because he's an actual bud light fan himself so let's see what to try had to say about it himself here and gillis announced that he's partnering with bud light which i think is a genius move from bud light because just take a look at some of these articles their headlines are hilarious i don't know if these people will ever learn like this one says bud light partners with right-wing comic fired for racist comments and he also made homophobic comments and jokes Another one says, Bud Light abandons trans folks and partners with anti-gay comic. Another one says, Bud Light trades Dylan Mulvaney for a conservative comedian who also has made racist and homophobic comments. I love that nowadays you can be anti-gay and not just be homophobic. Imagine, isn't it? 
imagine you could just be anti-gay <laughs> or anti like I, imagine being imagine being labeled as anti-gay <laughs> that's wild bro comments so reading those headlines just makes me think bud light is officially back you know this is exactly what they needed and shane was the perfect person for this you know not only is he one of the biggest comedians and he was already a huge fan of bud light but also of course people are going to try to cancel him again or whatever you want to call this and bring up his racist and homophobic comments which is just funny at this point because shane's not even a controversial comedian and the only people that will take these articles seriously and be all outraged by this and try to cancel Bud Light are people that were never drinking it to begin with. And unless Shane comes out of the closet or something, this will only help bring back their old consumer base. Imagine if Shane does come out of the closet. Him and Tim Dillon would be the the most the least looking gay guys I've ever seen in my entire life. Imagine if Shane does come out of the closet. Like that would be so funny. That would be hilarious. Like him and Tim Dillon would be like an amazing power couple but you wouldn't be able to tell in the slightest because tim Dillon is still does i remember when he early on when he came out people were saying that no nah, he's not gay he's just using it as a way to get famous but now that you've known that tim Dillon is gay if you listen to tim Dillon enough which i do i love tim um i've got i'm on his patreon everything i fucking love him you listen to tim enough you see the gay sensibilities right you see the i think just in terms of how dramatic and how fucking you know bitchy he is in general i think those are sometimes his gay sensibilities come out there the fact that he's very 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 dramatic he's very much a chatty patty um is hilarious but i always love the parts i don't know if you guys know if you're fans of tim dylan there's bits of sometimes when he's talking where you'll be like oh i was chatting with i was having a meet no i was talking to somebody right <laughs> he'll mention certain things here and there and you know he's probably talking about some random guy he hooked up with on Grinder, but he doesn't know how to like not say that, you know. So he says something like, "Oh, I was talking to someone. I was uh, I met somebody the other day. It's like, who did you meet? <laughs> who was it?" <laughs> but yeah, um, I'd love it if Shane Gillis came out. I would love it if Kid did. Because these headlines are perfect for them, you know. Bud Light hiring a conservative-friendly comedian who's made homophobic comments. I mean, that's the exact opposite of Dylan Mulvaney. So the people that were boycotting over that, they're probably gonna be like, "Oh shit, Bud Light's doing something right here." And I doubt Shane cares about the headlines. You know, he's probably more worried about his comment section because, of course, people are gonna be making gay jokes about it, and that's just what you expect. You know, nobody's really pissed that he partnered with them. People they understand. Like he's been drinking Bud Light the whole time. He never boycotted them. He's always been a fan and people know this is a partnership he wanted like he's mentioned a few times how he wanted to get sponsored by bud light but he actually thought he drank too much bud light for them to sponsor him bud light would be furious to know that you're not enjoying the products responsibly like they're asking no, you to yeah i know actually yeah people are like how come he's not sponsored it's like because i drink 20 beers every time <laughs> i'm on camera they can't they can't be like nice <laughs> i'm surprised actually thinking about people that drink what happened to Burt Kreischer and Tito's? Why didn't Tito's ever sponsor Burt Kreischer? Do you remember he was always fucking talking about Tito's, 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 Tito's? What happened there? Do you guys know about the law about that? Why didn't Tito's ever officially sponsor Burt? Or any drink company, actually. Come to think of it. He's never had even like a Pabst Blue Ribbon sponsor. Why isn't why doesn't Burt that drinks a lot and is a, a, a proud alcoholic, why haven't beverage companies, alcohol companies, beer companies ever linked up with him people would drink it if <laughs> that's a good point so people are you think these drink companies are afraid that Bert actually might die and then it might hurt them <laughs> imagine Tito's give him a, a sponsorship and they give him a crate and then he dies the next week okay fair enough that's a good point because i think if anybody deserves a drink sponsorship is Bert. he actually deserves one because he actually drinks like actually for real drinks i always have the feeling like much as i love rogan rogan talks about buffalo trace but i always feel like he talks about buffalo trace because he gets he gets a bit of money in a, in a brown envelope big up mexican salsa burnt chrysler is the worst also red bar is watching yeah yeah big up my guy red bar big up mexican salsa big up 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 um, I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm surprised. I'm still surprised. 
I've heard from people that you need to be a responsible drunk, but if they hire Shane, uh, okay, cool. Okay, good point, Josie. So maybe these collaborations, they can't be, you can't be, you can't have too much of an enthusiastic alcoholic be your ambassador because they could go too crazy, right? Like, I get, I get what you mean. 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 But then again, I think it's not, con I don't think it's like a, it's not the, it's not a, what do you think called? It's just not an authentic partnership then if it's not an actual piss head. Do you know what I mean? If I want an ambassador for fucking cigarettes, I want someone that actually smokes. I don't want somebody that vapes. I want someone that smokes cigarettes, like packets per day. That's what I want. You know what I mean? Like, that's what I'd want to see. I wouldn't want some person that just like, you know, has a shisha from time to time. No, I want a fucking smoker who has smoker's teeth, smoker hands. Do you know what I mean? I want that kind of person. Um, but I guess they can't because if they do sponsor somebody who actually smokes 10 packs of cigarettes a day and then they get fucking, you know, cancer, it might fuck up the cigarette brand. I get it. I get it. <laughs> and, you know, Shane's doing a service here because he'll take an initial hit. People are going to be making gay jokes and trans jokes. But over time, you know, him and the UFC, who Bud Light just did a partnership with, they'll help restore their reputation. So when you go to buy one, you don't have to worry about somebody giving you a look or making a gay joke about it or something. You know, Shane said that was tough to deal with. Like every show he did, whenever he'd have a Bud Light, somebody would have to make a remark about it. If you Honestly, America is such a weird place. Imagine some minor internet topic thing, right? Some weird internet topic thing that no one really outside of Twitter cares about will make people look at you weird in the bar when you're ordering a beer. What? I dare you try to give me a dirty look because I'm ordering something because you think it, it, it kind of says something about me politically. I dare you say that to me in a bar. I will legitimately smash a glass on the table and stuff it in your fucking face, do you know what I mean? And, and take the time. Like, imagine, imagine somebody in a bar influencing you what you should drink. Oh, yeah, you can't drink that because that makes you look gay. And what? Let me drink what the fuck I want. Like, so what? Like, what? Like, as if drinks are an indication of what, of where you let to stick your penis. Imagine how redacted you have to be to believe that a drink <laughs> is an indication of sexual orientation. <laughs> it's like what what does that even mean <laughs> fuck off man let me order my fucking strawberry daiquiri in peace get fucked you order a Bud Light people go yeah what is it your period <laughs> like they <laughs> it's uh, yeah it's hard it's I've hard out here people dude. are shocked on it that bar owners are stopping they won't carry it because people who want it and buy it are getting attacked Jeez. I also think this is all lies as well. I don't know. I've got a feeling this is all like Facebook conspiracies. Can we get those bar owners up here, please? Can we actually like ask them to provide some evidence? I, oh, where are these videos? Where are the videos? Where are the CCTV footage of people getting attacked because they ordered Bud Lights? This sounds like made up, like boomer fucking conspiracies. Like, you know what I mean? Like, what is this? People getting attacked and come on. Rogan as well loves to believe this shit. I heard people getting attacked for older the Bud Light. Really? Really? Can we name them, please? Can we have some video footage? Some evidence? Hard evidence? Like, come on, man. Honestly, these guys are so... They, they just believe anything, innit? Jesus, that's just, wild. Getting Bud Light, fight, yeah. You order a Bud Light at a bar and someone's like, we're fucking gay. What are you doing you... when you go to bars now? I'm, dude, I stay in... Look at this. <laughs> what you do when you go to bars now? What? You're carrying a baseball bat with you just in case you carrying fucking um knuckle dusters right with you just in case you carry a little knife <laughs> just in case somebody questions your sexuality or your manhood <laughs> because you ordered the butt honestly people are so fucking redacted honestly what are you doing rogan is so rogan has really lost his way sometimes i, I Rogan must spend a lot of time on Facebook. He must spend way more time on Facebook than in even Instagram. Or maybe he has like a burner Facebook account where he comments on stuff because the things he gets worried about, like, so, so, what do you do when you go to a bar and you order a fucking Bud Light? It's like, no one's going to beat up somebody wow. for supporting trans in New York. <laughs> but on <laughs> stage, on stage, yeah, what? it's tough.
Yeah. Bringing a Bud Light on stage, now you're now, gonna, somebody's going to yell. Yeah, they're gonna, it's going to become something a, different than It's going to be a subject. And it's funny because also during this podcast, Joe said that Shane should be the new spokesperson for Bud Light and said he's somebody who could help turn it around. And it looks like they took his advice. Uh, uh, there's uh, nothing. Honestly, come, like, two is a try. I like you, but come on, brother. Two is a try. Come on. Two is a try. Come on, brother. I love Shane Gillis too, but let's not, let's relax. Shane Gillis isn't fucking Will Smith. Do you know what I mean? Let's chill out. This, he's, he's not the fucking The Rock. They're acting as if, like, this guy is going to be <laughs> increasing the... Fucking Shane Gillis is not going to increase the sales of fucking Bud Light. Let's chill out a little bit, okay? The sales weren't bad when Dylan, Dylan Mulvaney was on the front of them. They're not going to be bad when Shane Gillis is on the front of them. It doesn't matter. It was all a big marketing ploy. N nothing bad happened. They're perfectly fine. They still sell loads of fucking tins. You know what I mean? Like, come on, man. Shane Gillis is going to turn around the brand. <laughs> They're talking as if Bud Light is some, like, independent startup brewery somewhere. Like, some, like, as if it's moonshine. Fuck it. Like, who fucking owns? Is it, isn't that a conglomerate? Like, what's the conglomerate that owns Bud Light? Uh, let's see. Who owns Bud Light? What's the conglomerate that owns it? Bud Light and Budweiser. Who owns it? And out, was it? An Aun Aunhauser and Bush, Aunhauser and Bush, since two thousand eight has wholly has wholly owned American Beverage Company. Um, what are they owned? They also own Budweiser, uh, Michelob, Stella Artois, and Bex. Come on, bro. Come on. Do you really think? Do you really think Dylan Mulvaney being on a tin is hurting Aunhauser and Bush's fucking stocks? stock prices and shit really do you think so the sales are fucking bud light do you honestly think they're being hurt their revenue as of 2018 or since 2018 15.5 billion dollars net income 9.8 billion come on man you be ashamed of, dude. I believe, I agree with you. There's nothing to I be ashamed of. I feel like you of. should be the new spokesperson. You could turn this motherfucker around. They oh, better hurry yeah. up and give me some money or I'm going to start drinking Coors. Like, we were talking about the ways they could turn it around. Like and I think this was one of the best ways for them to do that. I mean, they did a complete 180 here. Like, it's crazy. Just less than a year ago, they're getting canceled for being pro-trans and LGBTQ. And now they're getting canceled for being anti-trans and homophobic, which is a lot better for their brand. You know, the whole Dylan Mulvaney thing was so stupid. Because also after all that, she said that the response that Bud Light had to all the backlash was worse than not hiring a trans person at all. Which again, I think only helps Bud Light because Dylan's basically saying the way they handled the backlash only hurt the trans community. To be fair, the way they handled it was terrible and they actually did the worst thing possible in terms of putting them with any at the at the crosshairs of crazy conservative folks online, actually. That was really, you know, unbecoming of them. But again, multinational corporation, you know what I mean? They don't really have a heart or a soul anyway. No surprise. Big up NJ Ranger. Now do you get what I've been saying about this MF? Oh, who turns to try? Yeah, yeah, no, I, I like him. He's still my guy. He's still, he's still one of the best out here doing this comedy stuff. But I think when it comes to this topic, primarily, I think turns to try probably has been paying too much attention to what these guys have been saying. He hasn't been maybe thinking critically about everything that's been going on. I think he's been paying too much attention to like, you know, feeding into a narrative about, oh yeah, didn't want Mavali cost them twenty five million? It's like no, he didn't. Like he didn't. Like he didn't. Don't believe this shit. It's just all fucking marketing shit. Um, it's not that serious like a bunch of crazy conservatives online shooting tins of fucking Bud Light don't wipe 25 million off of fucking Bud Light stock price like come on let's be real <laughs> grandpa's feeling a little frisky today let me uh say something to all you and be as clear and concise as possible Bud Light and fuck Anheuser Busch. Have a terrific day. Come on, bro. Let's be real. This is a very small demographic of people out there. Like, I know they're very vocal. I know they're very loud. I know they're, you know, they're very visible, but they don't account for the majority of people who drink Bud Light every fucking single day. 
They don't know who Dylan Dylan Mulvaney is. They have no idea who Shane Gillis is. They don't know anything about stock prices. They have no idea who the parent company is that owns Bud Lights. They just like the fucking beer. They drink it. They keep it moving. So to suggest that one person who isn't that famous could have any effect, um, you know, in like, come on, let's be real. Let's be fucking real. Let's be fucking real. Please, please, please. So now the people boycotting could look at it like, oh, Bud Light actually handled the backlash pretty well. And hiring Dylan ended up being bad for the trans community. So maybe they did the right thing here. And now the Shane Gillis and the UFC deal, like I think it's safe to say the Bud Light boycott is over. I mean, the fact that they're sponsoring UFC, like I'd say most of the fighters don't agree with any of the trans stuff. Like Sean Strickland, you know, one of the biggest names in the UFC. This is what he has to say about it. Are you, are you a gay man? I'm an ally of the community. Okay. If you had a son and he was like, you know, you had a son, he was gay. You'd be like, oh man, you don't, you don't want a grandkid? No problem with it. Oh man, well, you, dude, you're a weak man, dude. You're like, <laughs> you're part of the problem. You elected Justin Trudeau. Like, here's the thing about Bud Light. 10 years ago to be trans was a, what? A mental fucking illness. And now all of a sudden people <laughs> like you weaseled your way into the world. You are, you are an infection. You are the Jesus definition Christ. of weakness. Everything that is wrong with the world is because of you. Yeah, so it's why. How does how does Kanye lose his Adidas deal for saying that he loves Hitler, and Sean Strickland could sell that shit? <laughs> I think there's there's a bit. Of, what's going on there? Kanye just says he loves Hitler and he likes some of his songs, and Sean Strickland essentially is calling on jihad on all gay people and he's okay <laughs> how is that possible <laughs> i love i love the world i love the world we live in i love the fucking world where you can question the holocaust and people can want to get you a fucking front of a building but when you literally call for the extermination of people based on their sexual <laughs> on their sexual orientation you're perfectly fine <laughs> okay cool man Wild that in less than a year, Bud Light went from sponsoring Dylan Mulvaney to sponsoring UFC events. Like, those could not get further apart from each other. And the boycott was probably good for the UFC and Shane Gillis because I'm sure Bud Light paid them a ton of money. Like, this was something they needed to do. You know, like this comment says, Shane... Did Tweezer try to say them for Shane? Did he use a pronoun them, they and them? I'm sure they paid them. That's hilarious. Shane is going to single-handedly make Bud Light not gay again. And then there's some other funny comments. Somebody said, shout out to Bud Light for working with the disabled. That's hilarious. And yeah, why can't people see the positive in this? You know, instead of those article headlines reading, Bud Light teams up with anti-gay comedian. How about Bud Light teams up with pro-Down syndrome comedian? <laughs> Down syndrome! Down syndrome? I'll do that. That was not my suggestion. But I will say this. I like it. I'm pro it. I have family members that have it. It's fun. Yeah, so I think people should look at the positive here. You know, Bud Light with this deal, they're also helping bring awareness to people with disabilities. So overall, I think this was a really smart <laughs> move for Bud Light. And obviously for Shane, this was like his dream partnership. I mean, he's already doing a lot of free promotion for them. Like whenever he's on Joe's podcast, he's usually drinking Bud Light. And like I said, he never stopped drinking through the boycott. So honestly, I wish I wish my insides could handle this much this much beer. On the table, he's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen cans of beer. There was a time in my life where I could drink loads of beer. I can't drink beer anymore. That's why I usually stick to liquor. But there was a time where I could drink like a whole case of beer to myself. Now I can't get through like one tin. I wish I could go back to those times. I wish my body could handle that much fucking wheat and shit and barley. But for some reason, anytime I try to drink loads of beer, I get really constipated or I get a really hard stomach or I start farting all, over to all everywhere or my so, or my the bottom of my, of my ass just starts leaking profusely, you know? I can't drink beer anymore, unfortunately. I wish I could. I really do wish I could. I really fucking wish I could. But, you know, what can we do? Big up to you to try. Big up Shane Gillis. Big up Bud Light. 
big up Dylan Mulvaney wherever you are solidarity with my trans community don't listen to fucking Anne Hirsch and Bausch and their stupidness right they threw you under the bus it's nonsense stand fucking strong right stand strong Dylan Mulvaney wherever you are um fuck them cash your money keep it moving um I wonder if Bert's gonna be jealous though I wonder if deep down Bert is gonna be jealous being the fucking career alcoholic using booze as a personality trait i wonder if bert's gonna be jealous deep down it's gonna be like fuck that should have been me i wonder i wonder if he's actually gonna be jealous i think he will be i think deep down he'll be fucking furious <laughs> that he didn't get the deal you know exactly yeah, exactly 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 um thoughts on mexicans post today ryan joseph i've got no opinion on that after that whole debacle with fucking brendan's daughter going to surgery i've made it a rule no more conversational talk regarding the wife or the children on here ever again not going to talk to about them anymore zero done zelch i have zero opinions on joanna Shaw, joanna zanella shorb zero opinions on the kids i do not care um all focus will be on papa only and now it's getting a bit dead because he quit comedy and he's getting a bit boring but no more conversations about that woman or the kids because um even though i have my very level-headed chill normal observations some of the comments <laughs> some of the conversation around it were dicey dicey some people actually believed that brendan made it up like honestly people were saying that he made up his daughter being in, in hospital getting surgery like oh it's all a lie he's just doing it for ticket sales like yo <laughs> you guys are you guys are playing you guys are too too invested <laughs> need to relax you need to relax it's not that deep like what he made it oh yeah he made it up his daughter's not ill she's perfectly fine like there's some people out there who believe that Brendan even faked that his kid had seizures. You remember that kid that had seizures and he gave it and he gave the kid CBD. That's how he got the CBD deal. Some people think that was fake. Some people think he lied about the CBD. He lied about his kid having seizures. Sorry, like I know the guy's redacted. I know he lies a lot, but he wouldn't lie about something like that. I don't think he'd lie about that. That's insane. So yeah um no more talk about the wife or the kids unfortunately so if you want to hear me speak about that that's not going to happen unfortunately my friend um none of my business wish them all the best and everything in between but you know i don't want any of that i don't want any of those fucking problems i don't want any of those problems